Well, good evening, everyone. And I know it's a bit late, but I have decided, I said in my previous video of the introduction to this uh, Shelby, Mustang Shelby, that I'm going to be building. I'm going to do it as a live stream. And I thought I'd start tonight doing part one. I know it's, uh, you know, it's not FX, okay? <laughs> I know there'll be questions about, you know, the sort of model builds, but it is still a scale model. So, you know, uh, Nigel, I had a good chat with Nigel about this, actually. He's doing this exact same car as me. So I decided to uh, do this as a, a live stream, part by part. So when they come in, I get probably about four a month, and I'll do one a week. You know, it's easy to do it as a live stream. It is just to record the build and then just upload it, edit it. So it's going to be done raw. Okay. So there you go. Uh, just have a look at the chat. We've got quite a few in the chat. So thank you very much to all those who have joined in. Uh, to Bode Go, Anfield, Hobby Time, and uh, <laughs> counselors available, Moz. Yes, it's <laughs> I need it. So if you don't know, the it's a Diagostini one to sixteen, one to six scale um, Ford Mustang Shelby, uh, nineteen sixty seven, I believe. And uh, each month they will be uh, sending me out parts to build. And this is part one. I've done introduction videos. If you want to go and watch that, you can do. And uh, you can see what I'll be getting every single month. Okay. Moz, about it. It's not a Monday. Has someone kidnapped Moz and is forcing him against his will? <laughs> no, this is pure me. This is. I just think it's easier to do this as a live stream than it is uh uh, to record the build and then edit it and put it in so it'd be easier this way so we get the magazine in front of the in the middle of the magazine will be the what you need so at the moment we're doing the front turn signals and front license plate um everything there you see you've got the front body work front license plate right turn signal reflector right turn signal support right turn lens left turn signal left turn signal support lens and you get in a few screws as well to help you do it and you also you get your screwdriver but we don't use a screwdriver in this kit because i think they're crap okay so we're going to leave that underneath a minute so we can see what we're doing and we're going to open it's basically it's vacuum packed this so you're going to cut it open and the, and the way i've learned to cut these open is quite simply it's just to cut from the top so cut get your knife in and go straight along whips go straight along here there you go whoops keep going keep going keep going absolute nightmare to get open this is where you cut your fingers and everything this is the this is the most dangerous part of the build i think it's getting this bit open it never goes right on live stream though does it cut through cut through cut through come on ah so hopefully the little oh, I've got this side, haven't I? This side as well. And there you are. The lid should come off now. Easily. There you go. It's the easiest way I've found to do it. Apologies for the noise. If you're if you've got uh, an issue with the noise, I do apologize. But I swear to you, this is the easiest way I've found to open it. Right, so let's get all the bits out that we need. So there's the screwdriver. It's, it's, yeah. We'll take out this section here. Cool, that's quite heavy, that. That's really heavy. Wow, really heavy. Bit of metal there. So we've got, uh, we'll do it in stage. So that side goes there. That one. And then the screws. Same on this side. screws and then there's the plate so that's everything from that pack everything we need right oh that is a lump i tell you that is a lump that is most definitely right so what we're doing here is step one so tag one g into the notch and this is one a so one g and you can see that you've got the little that's saying R there. 
So let's go on the right hand side, I believe. That's the one I want. There you go. That says left. Left on there, which is good. And you've got to fit it in a certain way. So there's a little notch out there. So I presume that goes in there. Is that right? There it is. Into position. There's the notch. Then you're taking one G. Let's see, that's the right as well. So you want the left side, it's all backwards now. And then if you look, should say left, so it's got to go that way. Is that right? 1G, 1H. I just want to make sure I get it right here. 1G, yeah. Into there, into that there. And there's the 1H goes in there. Is that right? Does that look right to you? Yes. I presume that's right. That's in there. Okay. I'm assuming I've got all the bits out of the thing. Just make sure. It needs to be a reflector. There you go, them two there. That's what I needed. See, I didn't see them in the box. Okay, so I presume they're both the same. And that goes in that way, does it? Right, so that goes in there, locked in. Cool. And then see that goes in like that, I guess. I'm assuming that's how it goes in. Let's double check. Perfect. So they go in together like so. Put it in place. The reflector in place so the screw hole tab on the left side is cut face down. That's it. Looks good to me. They're using the DS01 screws on this one. So what's that say? DS01. So we'll nick that open. Just nick it. Take two out. I want one. Oh, more than enough there. Right. One, two, three, four screws. Okay, that's pretty good to me. That goes there. That's linked in there. That fits in there. That's not going to move, is it? Cool. Then we've got to screw them in. So I'll just show you. We're going to use their screwdriver first. Is it magnetized? Not really. Then that fits in there into the hole. Come on. Let me screw that in to the hole. See, I'm not happy with that screwdriver. I don't think they're right. So, we'll use this one instead. Oh, that's a better fit. There you go. See what I mean? It's just a better fit if you get your own screwdriver. This is a pH treble O, I think that's what they call it. But it's just, you can see, it's just more manly than what the one they give you. Now, that might bite me on the bum in future, but it fits perfectly in there. There you go. Let's screw them in. Perfect. There you go. That one's all screwed in. That's the first side. And then it's basically rinse and repeat. That says right on that side. He forces him into the lub there. This one here spins to that direction there. 
he goes in so they should look like that i'll turn the page over actually i'm jumping ahead of myself here again it's all about notches right 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 and then again that goes to the right and then you get your piece with the notch cut out that way and he slots in position whoops Cool. Excellent. Put it out again. Like I say, it's not the easiest. Pushing your fingers and thumbs like I am. Cool. Let's get the other screws I left on the other page. Again, screwdriver. Ha, huh, well done, taggers. I like that. Oh, you swine. Why can't you just glue it in position? That'd be better, wouldn't it? Just put a bit of glue in there, you'd be fine. Oh, it's so quiet. There you go. Then just screw him in. Tight. He'll go in tight as well. There you go. They're not going anywhere. So there's that bit done, which I'm happy with. And there it is there, step 11. So then we move on to the number plate. And I'm assuming that just goes in like so. Make sure I've got the right way around. That's right, that's right. And then we're using some DS13s, which are these. They give you three, but you only need two, which is good. They give you a spare. Cut that open. Cool. Gonna be fidgety this one. I won't do him too tight first, I'll just nip him so he's uh he's in position. Move forwards a little bit, there you go. Slot him in, screw him in. And there you go. Nice and tight. There you are. So well, there's the first piece done, or the first parts done. That's pretty simple, that. And there you are. That's it. That's basically the first part. <laughs> How long have I been on for? <laughs> How long have I been on for the stream? And <laughs> we've already finished. <laughs> um, don't say. Oh, yeah, 15 minutes to do the first part. So, in theory, you'll get 15 minutes of me building. Hopefully, I'm saying 15 minutes of me um, building this Mustang. So there you are. There's part one. All done and dusted. Easy. 15 minutes of pure joy and bliss. Spending some time with me. And that's what you're left with. <laughs> you basically put in some, you know, reflectors. But I'll tell you what, that's really impressed me. The feel of that. 
you know. Okay, poor price. Moz, don't forget when the build is finished, all unused screws must be thrown onto the floor to appease the carpet monster. Yes, definitely. Gary Hidner, I'm about three quarters of the way through e building Eco One Taggers. Oh, well done. Let me know how you're getting on with that. Um, Gary, uh, these patches have now arrived, so I will send you out a fresh batch of patches, mate. It's the Lightning and the Concord you need, isn't it, if I remember rightly? Um, let me know in the chat. But, yeah, I could send them out to you because I did send them before. Um, but, uh, yeah. There we go. It's going through the chat. So only a few watches. That's fine. I understand this isn't everybody's cup of tea. You know, it takes all sorts in life, doesn't it? And uh, this is something a little bit different. So, yeah, brilliant. Uh Oh, Eagle Boss went bust, did they? Incredible. I'm um I've got all of the parts for the Ford GT and the uh, Rossi bike, so I might do that over Christmas. Uh yeah. Yeah. Oh stuff. Hi stuff, mate. Thank you for uh responding to one of my videos, mate. I've now liked and subscribed to your channel, mate. I thought you were hilarious. I thought your videos are so fresh, and I like the way you do your own little doodles and stuff in the middle of it. So uh i uh, got the lightning patch mars only missing the conquer one right the conquer one's on its way to you mate i'll get that sorted i'll get that sorted i've had uh, another 25 made of that lightning patch but yeah thank you for joining us stuff um yeah if anybody's watching go look up stuff and just watch his air fixing videos they're very funny um you know hairy stick painter and a little bit of uh, spray paint but yeah absolutely fantastic anyway we're, we're digressing now uh, Moz's Xmas build is getting bigger and bigger. It certainly is. But anyway, that's part one. And I'll see you in a couple of days for a live stream on doing part two. Thanks all for watching. If you could like the uh, video, that would be brilliant. Leave a comment as well. And uh, I will see you in the next live stream for this Ford Mustang build. Take care all and uh, speak to you soon. <music>